Get your Bibles ready for that. And we're going to read together in Jesus' name. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. I believe uh, this might be the new translation version. It may not be King James Version. Amen. But nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for who you are. Lord, you are God Almighty and you're God all by yourself. We come back, God, to tell you thank you. Thank you for your goodness, your kindness, and your mercy. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for covering us. Thank you for protecting us, oh God. And before we ask you for anything, oh God, we come to lift you up, God. We come to praise you. We come to thank you. We come to worship you. Lord, because you deserve the honor, God. You deserve the glory, God. You deserve the praise. Oh God, we thank you for the food that's on our tables. We thank you for the cars that we drive. We thank you for the jobs that we have. We thank you, oh God. Oh your mouth. Let praise and worship and bless the Lord, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He's the great I am. He's the Lion of Judah. Do I have any witnesses out there that know what I'm talking about? Who came to bless the Lord this morning? Who came to bless the Lord this morning for all the blessings that he gave you this week? You ought to bless the Lord with your hands. Bless the Lord with your mouth. Bless the Lord with your voice. Bless the Lord with your feet. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not his benefits. Hallelujah. We came to bless him this morning. And if you came to worship, come on and lift up your hands with us. We're going to start off with a worship song. 
I know we expect God to bless us, but what are you going to do to bless him this morning? He's been given to you all week. He gave you breath. He gave you food. He gave you transportation. He gave you another chance. Now, what are you going to offer and give up to the Lord this morning? You ought to offer up a sacrifice of praise. I said you ought to offer up a sacrifice of praise and worship. Hallelujah. This song says, I will bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his soul. Come on, help us sing. He, his soul. Come on, say, I will. I will bless the Lord, oh my soul. Come on, lift your hands with us and know that is, that is with me. Come on, so bless. Bless his soul. Say, the His holy name. Let's do it again. Say, I will bless. Come on. Say, I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Come on, say, and all. And all. That is. That is within me. Bless his soul. Say his holy, his holy name. Now what you blessing the Lord for? Let me tell you the reason why you ought to bless the Lord. Why? Because he has done. He has great things. Great things. Come on, say he has done. Open up your mouth and say, He has done. He has done. Bless. Bless. So I came to bless. bless. Oh, 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 yeah. It's holy day. Let's do it again. Come on. Say, He has done. Everybody sing with us. Come on. Say, He has he has done Come on, close your eyes. Lift up your hands. Say, He has. He has done Say, He has done great. Song. This song goes like this. Oh, we exalt thee. We exalt thee. We exalt thee. Oh, Lord. Let me say, we exalt. We exalt thee. We exalt. Say we exalt thee. We exalt thee. Oh Lord. 
so, 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 Command my soul to bless the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I command my voice to sing you praise. Come on. I command my soul to sing you praise. Everybody, come on. I command my voice to sing you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say so, 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 so. Bless the Lord. Come on, so. So, so. Hallelujah! 
If you sing the blessing, if you sing the praises, then call out to me, oh, say, get up and pray. Get up and pray. Get up and pray. Get up and pray. Get out of your seat and praise the Lord. Get up and pray. Get up and pray. Get up and shout. Get up and shout. Get up and shout. Get up and shout. The Lord be good. Get up and shout. Get up and shout. Get up and shout. Get up and leave. Get up and leave. Get up and leave. Get up and leave. Get out of your seat. Get up and leave. 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 Get up and dance. Get up and dance. Get up and dance. Get up and dance. You may not have rhythm, but get up and dance. Get up and dance. Get up and dance. Get up and run. Get up and run. Get up and run. Get up and run. Everybody say, get up and pray. Get up and pray. Get up and pray. Get up and pray. What you sitting there for? Get up and pray. Get up and pray. Get up and pray. Get up and leave. Get up and shout. Get up and dance. Get up and run. Get up and pray. Get up and pray. Who came to bless them out there? Who came to lift them out there? Repeat after me. Say, I, I. Somebody ought to get up and do it. Now listen, listen, listen to 
very carefully, listen. If he ain't done nothing for you, you just keep sitting there. Thank you both for coming. I've had some 
good to me. Have some hills to climb. I've had some weary days. Endless nights. But when I look around, I think things over.
got it all under control. You don't have to worry about a thing. I got it. Like I got this. Hallelujah. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce the summer presenter. That's our very own pastor, Corinna Singleton, as she comes in our own way. Somebody shout out, use her for your glory. Sometimes the clouds hang low. I can hardly see the road Then I ask the question, Lord Why so much pain? But He knows what's best for me Although my weary eyes cannot see so I'll just say, thank you, Lord. I said, I'll just say, thank you, Lord. I may not understand it, but I'll just say, thank you, Lord. I've got more bills and money, but I'll just say, thank you, Lord. I've got a bad diagnosis, but I'll just say, thank you, Lord. I, I won't complain. Hallelujah. 
not going to be before you long, but I think I got a little something to say. You know, when I was uh, looking at, um, you know, Pastor Gail Starworth, she wrote a book. I should have said something. And I'm going to get it because I'm wondering what she should have said. She's going to inspire me to write my book about demon possession. We need everything that we can get in these evil and wicked days. Okay? So, if you would turn with me to St. John 1, I, I, yeah, St. John 1, no, I'm sorry, St. John, yes, 1, and 1 through 5. Darkness. 
Now, we all have been in darkness. Even after you are baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost, you have some dark times. And you may have the darkness of shame and humiliation which isolates you and separates you and you need somebody to talk to. You may have the darkness of the enemy's oppression. Unjust, cruel, and the exercise of anything or power weighing your mind down. Amen. But the scripture says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Amen. And the darkness of hopelessness, depression, despair, sadness, that's a type of darkness. <laughs> And I want to say that in the darkness, there is sadness. You don't know what to do. You're going through a lot of things in your life. You might be financially burdened. That will bring about a sadness. And then there's a darkness of hopelessness. Depression. They say that, and they used to say, that saints don't get depressed. But that's not true. Because you're in a darkness of depression. Anything can cause you to be in a darkness of depression. Despair. You're sad. You isolate yourself. You don't want to uh, communicate. You're in the darkness. But I'm here to tell you that there's strength even in your darkness. Hallelujah. There are many people in the Bible that were in darkness during their time. I'm going to name a few and I'm going to get out the way. But we have to know that in our darkness, there is strength. In my sadness, there is strength. If I just reach out and read the word, glory to God, I will find the strength. Because we have been predestinated before the foundation of the world. And God has predestinated us to make it. No matter what you're going through. So therefore, even in our sadness, we can't have that sadness overwhelm us. Because we've been predestinated to make it, to overcome it. Lord, thank you. And if we read, go to uh, Isaiah 43 and 12, uh, 43, 1 and 12, Sister Bonnie.
they shall not overflow you. When thou walkest through the fire, hey, Lord, thou hey. shalt not be burned. Yeah. Neither shall the flame hey. kindle out upon thee. Strength in darkness. And there was a lady in the Bible who had an issue of blood. For 12 years, she was in darkness. She went to many doctors to relieve her of her issue. But she couldn't find it. But she had the strength to keep on pushing. To push through her sadness, to push through her humiliation, because she was humiliated, because it was not, uh, you were set apart according to the law if you had an issue of blood. And can you imagine how this woman felt so humiliated, couldn't go out in public and, and spent all her money on doctors that kept telling her different things that didn't heal her. I said strength in her darkness. Hallelujah. And she suffered many things at the hands of her doctors. Don't tell her what her doctors were telling her. Try this, try that, but she still had the problem. And you know what we do? We try this, we try that. We might try some pills, we might smoke some marijuana. Trying to be relieved from our suffering. But she decided, well, you know, I tried everything. But I want to try Jesus. I hear Jesus at the time. And so she had to push her way through the crowd. Sometimes you got to push your way through <coughs> to the church. You got to press your way. If you press your way 
and touch the hem of his garment, you will be healed. So whatever condition you're going through. God 
God brought him out. And Pharaoh made him master of his house. Strength in darkness. How do you get strength out of darkness? Through Jesus. And then we look at Jonah. Jonah was called by God to go and preach against Nineveh. And he didn't want to do it. He didn't want to do it. But he got his strength in darkness, in the belly of the whale. And some say he died in the belly of the whale. But you know what? He prayed. He had to pray. So in your weakness, you got to pray. church, you're here for a reason. 
Because God predestinated you to be here. Before the foundation of the world. So in your sorrow. And I keep mentioning sorrow. In your dilemma. There is hope. There is hope. You know, and I, I, I have to mention this. I'm going to sit down because I'm through. But our vice president, Camilla Harris, Kamala, <laughs> let me get that right. Y'all going to get me right? Kamala, God got a woman. You hear that, brothers? Uh, Brother Gordon, yeah, I figured that. But God got a woman. He's using a woman. He does use women. Brother, I know you don't want me to say nothing. I look at Elder Shelton. You know he ain't going to say nothing. Because he got a <laughs> That's right. God uses women. And he's using her. Willie Brown told her not to accept the position that they call her to be vice president. But guess what? She's getting ready to be president. And she didn't, she didn't overstep her way as being vice president, Brother Gordon. She stayed in the background. You didn't hardly hear nothing from her. I have to mention this, I'm sorry. If I was younger, I would be right there on her campaign. It's time for a change. It's time for us to stop being stuck in the same old thing. Oh, this happened to me, and so I'm just gonna fall out and die. And all of us have childhood hurts. But we can't fall out and die because of stuff that has happened in your childhood. Every single one of us have hurts and sadness and, and sufferings. What we've gone through. And then when we come over into the church, we want to carry those same things. Help us, Lord. We want to bring them into the church. But I'm telling you, there's strength in the darkness. You might have had to carry them when you were in your childhood in the darkness, not saying anything, couldn't say nothing, didn't dare say nothing. But over here in holiness, there's strength. I didn't know all of that in my childhood about how God brings you out. And we all have made mistakes and done damnable things. But over here, Brother Nunn, there's strength in your darkness. The mom or daddy might have beat you when you were young. But over here, God don't beat you like that. There's strength in darkness. And we as women, we go through a lot of things that we don't say nothing about. Because we didn't know 
that was in darkness. Women have been faced with a multitude of things, rapes, molestation, incest, but never said a word. Never said a word. But in holiness, there is strength in the darkness. Whatever you've been through. Women have been raped. Young boys have been raped. But couldn't say nothing because they didn't know. There was strength. In darkness. And the strength is God. You want to get it off of it? See Jesus. See Jesus. You want to get back at your parents? See Jesus. Strength. In darkness. So that's all I have. There we go for tomorrow. There's hope for tomorrow, Brother Gordon. That woman president, that's hope for tomorrow. Okay, our pastor is coming, he's going to... Have a seat, woman. <laughs> I think I was coming to a... You should write the book. It should be entitled Strength in Darkness. Strength in Darkness. He that keep his mind stayed on him, he will keep him perfect. Peace. And it's the joy of the Lord that is our strength. Celebrate the women's department. They did a great service on Thursday. Thursday. Oh, yeah, that was out of sight. Yeah. If you missed it, you missed it. Yes. Thank God for the video. You can go back and watch the video, but we had a good time. Amen. Hallelujah. I see that we have Mother Sophia's family in the house. Yeah. Um, Sorry, I wasn't able to make her service, but 
I remember her as she is. Not as she was, but as she is. Because I'll see her again. Because if I don't know nothing else, I know Mother Sophia, she sent some timber up. She blazed a trail. She come into the house. She need a praise. She need a praise team or nothing. No music, no nothing. All she can do is testify of how God brought her out and how she wanted to show her children and her grandchildren that there is a God who is able to do a seemingly abundantly above all of us who can imagine. Oh, what a wonderful woman! She is a woman of virtue. Amen, somebody. Our hearts go out with you, but I'm not worried about Mother Sophia. Mother Sophia made it. I'm more worried about the children and the grandchildren. Will you make it? Will you see Grandma? Will you see Mom again? That's the real question on the table. Will we see those that we love again? Well, there's only one way I know that that can happen is you got to get in fellowship with Jesus. But he is the only one out of the Bible. The Bible says in Acts 12, I believe it is. It says, neither is there any other name. 4 and 12. Given among men. Whereby we must. He put a must on that. Ain't no other way. Ain't no other person. Ain't no other. Ain't no other. It's just no other way. It's simple. It's simple as A B C. He is the only way. Come on, somebody. He's the only way. And if we don't do it his way, then in hell we get the bombs. If you're here this day, this morning, we're asking that you will try Jesus. If you need strength this morning, try Jesus. He works in darkness. He moves in darkness. Hallelujah. So if you're here, hallelujah, this is the altar call for, for baptism. And you have not been baptized in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. We'd like to offer you that. That's the beginning of your relationship with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We all have to go that way. We all have to repent. Go down and submerge in the water in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of our sins. And God promised me. He promised you. He promised all of us that he would fill us with the Holy Ghost, the seal of redemption. Will you come? Will you call it? Go down in the water. Oh, strength like no other. Reach to me. Oh, will you come? My strength. You are my strength. Oh, strength like no.
my peace. You are my peace. Peace like no other. Peace like no other. No other hope like no other hope like no other reaches reaches to me in the fullness in the fullness of your grace in the power of your Healing me. Thank you for keeping me. You 